from Australia. Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's great to meet you all. We're at DomCon LA. We're trying to be as naughty as we possibly can. I am Madam Lucy Allo. It's going great. I just checked in this afternoon. Uh, the Leather House that I'm with did our first workshop today. We have another one tomorrow, and we're also hosting the Fetish Social tomorrow night. So it's going good. Well, we've been hosting workshops like we do every year. We're sponsoring a social as we tend to do most years as well. And we're generally just trying to say hi to everyone that we don't get to see any other time of the year and have a good time. Madam Raven Ray. Oh my gosh, it's been a crazy event. It's literally been one of the best Dom Cons ever. Um, as Mistress of Ceremonies, I have had an amazing time meeting all of the most amazing Doms ever, as well as some of the best subs around. So it's literally been the best experience this year so far. I am a pro dominatrix. I am also a foot fetishist, specializing in foot fetish, located here in Culver City towards a nice little LA, Beverly Hills area. I do work out of my home and I travel everywhere, a lot. All right, my name is Queen Ivy. I'm here from Toronto for DomCon LA. This is my slave for the weekend. Um, he's not allowed to talk, but he's lovely. Um, I'm a professional dominatrix, actually, and um, I love it. I love what I do. I love playing. I love travel. Fantastic. The scene, the scene here, it's, hmm, there's a lot of fashion here. Um, in Toronto, they're very rule aware. Like a lot of the parties, you actually have to read lists about what the rules are before you go in, which is very handy for consent and those, those sorts of violations. But um, I mean, either way, you've got rope crowds and latex crowds and leather crowds. It's, it's very much the same that way. And uh, it's just everybody, you know, a bunch of perverts. We're just a bunch of perverts in different places. It's, it comes down to. Hello, I am Lady January Frost from Boulder, Colorado, and I'm here at DomCon. Nice to see you all there. I have been awarded a Mistress of Ceremonies this year, which is an amazing honor. I have been in the industry for about four years, but lifestyle for all of my life. So I am blessed to be here at DomCon among my sisters. So happy to be here. Thank you very much. Hi, guys. My name is Conscious or Mistress Gabrielle. I'm from Australia. And this is Mr. Wolf. Hello, I'm Mr. Wolf. I'm from Australia. Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's great to meet you all. We're at DomCon LA. We're trying to be as naughty as we possibly can. You really need to come to DomCon. It rocks, rocks, rocks my socks we're having a good time so yay tonight we're wearing leathers we love leather love leather have a great night we'll see you soon wow. so you oh, we're from the fetish palace in, in australia adelaide, adelaide. www.thefetishpalace.com come see us we'll lock you up well, fuck you. You'll love it. Rock your world. <laughs>My name is Mistress Marlene. I work at Sanctuary LAX. I started to work there about more than a year ago. I'm a professional dom dominatrix. I've been into the scene about 10, 10 years. I started when I just turned 18 years old. So first of all, being a lifestyle. Uh, then I started to work in Ukraine as a pro dom. So it's been a kind of cage time because we had not so many beautiful uh, equipment like we have here in the United States. In 2011, I moved to U.S. So um, and for a long time, I saw it's supposed to continue my. I can't say this is job. This is my. It's a thing that I love. It's a thing that I I, I live for. Um, I think I have the best boss in the world. It's Mistress Sayan. It's um, I work with the best people. I'm very glad. I'm very glad to be here.
Hello, I'm the Mistress Remedy Anne. And you, well, you're just a slave. So why don't you just get on the floor where you belong? You're going to crawl over here and get into this cage. So you're gonna be living in this cage for a good portion of your time with me. When I don't have any use for you, this is where you'll be spending most of your time. Locked. Cage confinement is a part of everyday living when you serve me. Long-term cage confinement is a privilege in which you will be entitled to. I'll keep you locked here, held captive, as long as I choose. And it will be a while. While in the cage, there is no speaking. There's absolutely no sound to come from a slave. You will be ball gagged as well. Don't worry, I will monitor you. My pet, you'll be let out only to serve and for hygienic purposes, and that's it. Otherwise, the cage life is it. It's better than prison. <laughs> Hi, how do you like the event tonight? I love the event, thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here at DomCon Los Angeles 2016. That's amazing, your outfits looks very cool. Can you tell us more about it? Sure. My wonderful hat here was made by a local company here called Forgotten Saints in Los Angeles. My military latex outfit was made by a company in England called Westward Bound. And my fabulous boots are made by Pleaser USA. Wow, they're very nice. Can you show us the back of them? They're amazing. Look at them. <laughs> It looks really good on you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> so you. what's your name? Where can we find you? My name is Mistress Porcelain Midnight, and you can find me on www.mistressporcelainmidnight.com. Amazing. Thank you so much for the interview, and have a great night. Thank you for having me. Hi guys, how do you like the event tonight? Loving it. Fantastic. The event's been yeah. great so far. Your outfits look so great. Can you tell me more about them? Uh, yes, it's actually by uh, Jane Doe Latex and it's a little mini halter. Oh, so wow. Someone hugs the ass just nice. <laughs> yes. Can you show your outfit? Yes, this one is uh, by Damask. All of it. Oh, it just wow. does this Damask mostly. And my outfit Fantastic. is westward bound, head to toe. So it's got a little bit of boning to keep you in. And yeah. I like how we all have content. Is this material? Yeah. <laughs> no. Is this material a tight? How does it feel comfortable to wear it? Oh, yeah. It is. Yes, it is. It is. It is. It's hot, but yeah, you're naked with something a little extra on yeah. you. Basically. It feels like you're naked. Yeah. LA, uh, you can afford it with LA weather. Uh, weather. Uh, can you tell me your names? Uh, Domina Helena. Okay, where can we find you? Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm on Twitter at La Domina Helena and oh. Instagram Domina oh. underscore Helena. Okay, what about you? <laughs> I'm Mistress Megan McCord. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram under Megan underscore McCord. Uh, Sybil Troy and just SybilTroy.com and you can get everything else from there. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it simple, right? I love, I love your vibe. Guys, hope you enjoy the rest of your night and thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, oh my god, I feel so short compared to you. Look at you, I love your style. Can you tell us your name? My name is Goddess Faye Black, and I am from San Diego, and I own House of Black down there, which is a kink facility. Well, oh, that's amazing. I love your outfit. Uh, can you tell me more about it? Uh, yes, it was made by Ruslan, who is down in San Diego, and it was custom made completely since I have giant boobs kind of had them molded yes. for me. <laughs> um, I feel like a paladin from World of Warcraft, so I'm kind of touching base with those fans of mine there. It looks fantastic. Wow, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on fayblack.com, um, as well as on Twitter at uh, Goddess Fay. Amazing. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your night, and thanks for the interview. Yes, of course. Thanks for having me. Hi, my name is Daria and I'm with Dome Television Network. Please introduce yourself to us. Hello, I'm Renee Masumian from Baby Loves Latex. I'm a latex designer from New York City. I hand make everything, all my own designs. Interesting, all this stuff looks so interesting and different. Please tell us more about your designs. It looks amazing. <laughs> 
Well, one of my newest things is a uh, molded lace latex. And uh, because I mold it, it has a lot more uh, stretch than other ways of doing it. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of latex, and I love your outfit. Oh, thank you. It's all handmade. I, uh, I um, hand pour all the marble and everything. Wow. Uh, it looks like, can you go out in these outfits? Well, of course. Amazing. So where can we find you? I am, uh, my brand is online, uh, renemasumian.com. Okay, thank you so much. I'm Ms. Vixen with Current Pleasures. Yeah, how do you like the event tonight? Uh, it's great. I've been a big sponsor of DomCon for about the last five years. Miss Cyan is a good friend of mine, so I'm always here. Wow, that's amazing. Your items look very interesting. Can you tell us about it? I'm everything e-stim, uh, not the Violet Wand Sparky. This is a pure pleasure muscle control with a basic TENS unit. If you've ever been to a chiropractor or physical therapist, they put the pads on, they massage the muscles. Well, cocks and vaginas are muscles, just like your neck's back shoulders. And what is an orgasm but a muscle contraction? So use a little bit of electrical, not shocky, just pure pleasure for hands-free orgasm. That's interesting. That's very interesting. And you have a lot, a lot of them, right? What's the most popular one? Um, we have a conductive cloth penis sleeve. You can roll it on like a condom. Uh, it's the only e toy I know of where you can actually use it underneath the condom to maintain an erection to use during intercourse without any danger of your partner, you know, getting any of the electrical stimulation with it. Uh, we have what we call ghost fuck toys, um, which will actually insert anally or vaginally and move themselves in and out of you. Can we look at this item? Is it here? Uh, um, most of these are, are what we call ghost fuck toys. It's all a matter of what is comfortable for you. You know, shapes and sizes. We've got a bunch of different ones. Um, you know, we've got a most popular one like this. Inserts anally, vaginally. These top two stripes will actually move it inside and out. And then this third stripe, you can pair it. Electricity is one plus one is two. So pair it with something on the outside, a cock ring, a clit clamp, something like that. And we get what we call a trisphase effect that gives you both G-spot and clitoral stimulation or penile stimulation at the same time. Very purely pleasurable. And how often uh, is it preferred to use it? Uh, you can use it as often as you want to. You don't want to do, just like going to the gym, you don't want to do more than an hour at a time or your muscles are going to get sore from it. <laughs> but you can do, you know, 15, 20 minutes multiple times a day. If you use a different kind... Um, that has something like the side ones, we use these for Kegel exercises. They will actually tighten up the vagina, uh, eliminate your incontinence. They started out as a medical device, but then you rotate it and you've got G-spot stimulation. So it's like a workout. Right? It, it can be a workout. Exactly. You can perk up your breasts with the breast pads, or you can just do a nice muscle, you know, breast massage or nipple stim. Um, it's, it's all, they all have therapeutic uses as well as erotic uses. A TENS unit is a great thing to have around for all of it. Wow. Where can we find you? Uh, CurrentPleasures.com. Okay, as perfect. As current, so very easy to remember. Amazing. Thank you so much for your interview and hope the rest of the night will be good. It will. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ready? Ready. Yay! And most entertaining trainer has to be Miss Summer Storm. <laughs> Hi, my name is Amy and I'm a Barb girl. We are beautiful girls. Many of us are actors and models. We are looking for men to work for us and to serve us and become our personal servants or slaves. We require an attitude of absolute obedience, respect, and servitude. We also will require complete discretion and confidentiality. Is that clear? Good. We are a secret society type of operation and are only accepting slaves that are completely obedient and submissive. Is that clear? Are you ready to completely submit to and obey a beautiful girl? We are producing tasteful movies with storylines and BDSM elements. These movies are theatrical release quality with beautiful girls and scenes. We need submissive stand-ins to practice and rehearse on. These practice rehearsal sessions will not be filmed or taped. 
We are beautiful models and actors and need practice bossing men and women around as well as administering corporal punishment discipline. This includes whipping, caning, and other forms of strict behavioral modification as well as obedience training and slave training. We are looking for completely obedient subs to use and be owned as our own personal slaves. Once you have taken and passed our obedience training course, you can be used as our submissive stand-in to practice on. You can also be used as our personal slave or servant. Ready? And most entertaining trainer has to be Miss Summer Stone. <laughs> Hi, how are you enjoying this event tonight? It's a great event so far. Yeah, these things look so nice. Can you tell me more about them? Absolutely. We're with the kinkfactory.com and we custom make uh, paddles, butt plugs, locks. We do a lot of custom work uh, for the kink community. Oh wow, that's very interesting. What is this over here? So this is a custom daddy paddle we made for all the daddy doms out there. Look at this. So what do you use it for? So when someone uh, gets spanked with this, the wording is backwards, mirrored as we call it. The mirrored uh, wording, if uh, applied properly, will leave an impression on the, on the bottom or the person receiving the spanking. Wow, that's a great impression. It is. Huh? It is. It is. We do a lot of other custom work. We do custom laser work. So we have a lot of different words and images that people can choose from. We uh, have some high-end steel collars, all different sizes, different styles, rounded, squared off, uh, for, for all different types. Wow. What, how many types are there? Um, we have with us today, we have five different types. So, how do you like the event tonight? It's great. It's been going really well, actually. I know, it's a great vibe. Look at all these things. They look so interesting. Can you show us one of those? So, I'm Star with Ravenwood Leather, and this is one of the more popular toys. It is the Bullhide Paddle. Um, it's heavy, heavy bullhide, and it can be used. It's a very thuddy type paddle, so it's nice for introductory warm up. It's good for in the middle of a scene for a break. It's um, very versatile. It's, it's, it's a beautiful piece. Wow, that looks very soft yes, very <laughs> and heavy. <laughs> yes, and heavy too. So it's nice and thuddy. It's a good wow. toy. Yeah, thanks for showing that to us. Thank you, Thank you so much. tonight oh it's been great so far thank you very much Amazing. tell us more about your furniture it looks so interesting oh, thank you uh, we're captive pleasures and everything that we do is 100% custom we don't have a, a single item that we mass manufacture our niche is people come to us and look for uh, an item that they can't find or they found a piece that they like but just want to tweak it a little bit and make it their own that's where we come in everything is built to their measurements and custom made for them that's amazing. Where can we find your store? Where, where can we find it? In the internet or website? The easiest place is to go to www.captivepleasures.com. Amazing. Can you tell us about the favorites, about your favorite thing here? Sure. So this piece is one that we made for a local couple here in LA. They were nice enough to let us use it for the show. 
This is a cleaning chair, and the directive that we were given was to make it 80% hide as living room furniture. So it doesn't wow. have to be perfectly living room furniture, but at a glance, no one would know. So what we did is, right here, is where the uh, slaver submissive's head would be, and the mistress sits and watches TV, does whatever she wants to do. But when it's time for it to go away, pop the insert in, and then they wanted storage for uh, blankets or pillows is what they're going to use it as when the submissive isn't inside. Wow. So. What a secret couch over here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's amazing. Thank That's you. amazing. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. I'm Duchess Katerina and I'm a Barb girl. I'm model, actor and jet setter. I live the glamorous life. I have a very busy schedule with acting, traveling and my social life. I also open a new boutique and have a clothing line. I'm looking for a new pet slave to play with and train. I get a kick out turning egotistical men into completely obedient and submissive pets. I did it with my former boyfriend. I like to use my slaves for entertainment purposes and also to do chores and other tasks. All of my Barb girl friends also have slaves. We trade our slaves from time to time to do different tasks. It's all started when one of my former boyfriends had the audacity to cheat on me like a low-down dog, and then he begged to come back to me. So I let him to come back to me as a pet slave. So I stripped him down, collared him, and kept him locked in a dog cage. I fed him dog food and water in a dog bowl. I severely whipped him on a regular basis for cheating on me and I enjoyed it. He was allowed to work his regular job and then he come back to his dog cage as my pet slave. All his tiny paychecks come to me. I had him do all my yard work and housework. I played pet games with him to humiliate him and also for my amusement. Games like fetch games and games you play with your pets like position commands, you know, sit, beg, roll over, I would really get kicked out of it because if he didn't get into position very quickly and properly, I would let him have it with a whip. <laughs> Actually, I trained him to do exactly what I commanded. After a year of using him and training him to be completely obedient, I was ready for a new slave. So I recently gave him as a birthday present to one of my Barb girl friends. She just bought a new fixer upper house and she need a worker slave to do all fixer upper work. She made him quit his job and now she has him on a 16 hour work schedule. She's very cruel to him. She treats him like a dog even more than I did. She has him working from 8 a.m. till midnight every day, seven days a week, fixing up her house and doing chores and tasks for her. She even keeps him in a forced chastity with a locking device 
for 30 days periods or longer. <laughs> That's what he gets for cheating on me. <laughs> so now I'm ready for a new pet slave. Do you want to be my new pet slave? Send me a proposal and if you are selected, I will show you what it's like to be completely owned by a Barb Girl Duchess. If you are selected as my new pet slave, you will be able to do everything what I ask you very quickly and properly, with an attitude of respect, obedience and servitude. No exceptions. All of my slaves are also whipped into submission on a regular basis, and so you will be. I found out that whipping my slaves into submission helps them to be obedient and submissive. I will color you and leash you and put you in your place. I also have a dog cage where I will lock you in from time to time. I will play pet games such as fetch games, sit, back, roll over. I will train you and whip you for any mistakes whatsoever. I will put you through obedient training procedures and work you into complete exhaustion every day. You will be doing all cleaning and laundry tasks. You will work at my clothing boutique also. I will have you on a very strict work schedule. I will be your boss. I will have complete control of you and treat you like a good little pet. You will be on all fours begging for more. And if I get tired of you, in a month or in a year, beware, I may give you to one of my Barb girl friends that is very cruel and abusive. <laughs> Hello, how do you like the event tonight? You look beautiful. Thank you very much, Daria. It's funny that our names are very similar. I'm Mistress Dare, and this is Daria. Where can we find you? Well, mistressdare.com. I'm in Studio City, but actually I work all over LA. Amazing, I love your style tonight. Can you, how do you feel in this outfit? Do you feel confident? I feel very confident because it's conservative, and yet it's very naughty at the same time. Yeah, I love, look at those boots. Like, I mean, it's, it's like, you know, I'm sensible, but I mean business. Yeah, <laughs> it looks very nice. Your hairstyle really adds a Thank lot you, to it. thank you. The hair makes it. Yeah. In the event tonight, is it the first time for you? It is my first time. I've been a professional dom for the last two years, and I've been, this is my first dom con. So, yeah, I'm meeting everybody for the very first time. Amazing. How are you liking it? Great. I mean, it's nice to know there are other women out there like myself. I mean, I've been pretty much yeah. doing it on my own. And then I thought, well, let me get out there and socialize a little bit with the ladies. Have you met a lot of, uh, make a lot of friend, friends here? I have, actually. I mean, I, I'm kind of been just laying back and kind of watching it. And just I haven't been dressing up much, but tonight I decided to dress up a little bit. Yeah, it looks very nice. Thank you so much for Thank the you. interview. And it was great meeting you. Pleasure Thank to you. meet you. Thank you. Hi, look at you. You got Hi. so... I love your style. Oh, You're so happy you. tonight. I'm really, really happy to be here today. There are hundreds of beautiful women, and um, it's really the best place to be. You can just wander around, and there's gorgeous latex in every direction. I feel like completely at home. But um, I, I am looking for my partner. I, I date a girl named Harley Quinn, and I, I wore out my previous Harley Quinn, so... If there's anyone here who fits this uniform, um, it'd be really great if she fit this uniform because we we don't have a we don't have a budget to buy another uniform. So so prerequisite, you have to fit this uniform. And I know you're out there, my Harley Quinn. Mwah. Yeah. Aww. Can I'm you can you tell us your name and where can we find you? I uh, well, I am the Joker, but I collaborate really often with <laughs> Mistress Alice in Bondage Land at aliceinbondageland.com. Amazing. Thank you so much for the interview and I love your energy. Have a good night. Bye! Hi. So tell us about the exciting news. Hi. Um, uh, the exciting news is that Queer Cabaret Pangea is coming back to LA after a, a several month hiatus. So we're coming back to Sanctuary Studios LAX on June 25th. Wow. 
Oh, that's amazing. So tell us more about it. Um, so Pangea is a queer cabaret and play party. We're a consent focused BDSM event. So we teach people how to do scene negotiations and how to play safely um, while at the same time putting on this uh, really wonderful cabaret show with drag kings and drag queens that's and burlesque amazing. performers, boylesque. Like we've got everything and it's just this spectacular party and show all at Sanctuary. How often are the, this party and shows going? Well, we're just coming back for the summer, so we've got three events. It's super exclusive. We've got June 25th, July 23rd, and August 19th, which is a Friday. The rest of them are on Saturday. Amazing. And where can people get uh, purchase the tickets? Um, tickets can be purchased at Sanctuary LAX. Um, they, they can be purchased at the door. They're $10 before 10.30 and $15 after. Okay, it's not 10.30. 30 yet so <laughs> let's start purchasing, uh, purchasing the tickets thank you so much <laughs> thank you thank you have a great night you too take care it's great we're here doing a fundraiser for incredible girl which is a new television show that we're creating we're fundraising for the pilot episode that's the first episode and we're about 20 percent funded and we did most of our our funding through crowdfunding um but now we're here at domcon to do more outreach for the show to let people know about the show it's a kink show that's where can we find you? Um, we're at igseries.com. That's amazing. What's your name? My name is Aurora. Aurora. Yeah. Amazing. So thank you for sharing that with us. Can you tell us? Yeah. So Incredible Girl is a digital series about a young Southern Baptist woman who realizes that her life doesn't make sense for her anymore. And she discovers her world is the kink world. That's where she finds solace. So the show uh, follows her up through her discovery of the things that she likes, and she develops a relationship with um, the title character called Incredible Girl. Uh, when is the show coming up? We're still fundraising, so that's dependent upon. Where can we read about it? We're online. We're at igseries.com. Um, you'll find some articles online already as well, and we're on some <laughs> podcasts that we've been interviewed in. So, well, Thank you so much for sharing, and have a great night. You too. Hi, how, how are you enjoying the event tonight? Oh, it's great. I'm having a great time. Great. Uh, your jewelry looks really interesting. Please tell us more about it. Well, some of the jewelry I make myself. Some of it I import from India, some from Tibet, uh, different places, Indonesia, um, the Middle East. I have, um, I don't know if I said vintage already. I have vintage stuff. I have a lot of vintage, actually. Um, some stuff is sterling silver, some is stainless steel, I've got bone, I've got wood, I've got pearls, I've got all kinds of things. That's amazing. Where can we, when can we get it? What's your website? The website is ishtabai.storeenvy.com. Ishtabai is up there. It's spelled Y-X-T-A-B-A-Y dot store envy, which is one word, uh, dot com. That's amazing. And how much are your pieces? Well, there, there's a big range. You know, I sold a bracelet today for $5. Um, I have a necklace that's made of 18 karat gold and, um, and turquoise, and that one is uh, 3500 Oh, Those are amazing pieces for reasonable prices. Uh, can you show us one of them? So well, we'll I've got something them? in my hand. Like wow. this, is a, this is a vintage piece from the 1960s. Uh, this one is $45, and then I've got bracelets, I've, I've got, I'm sorry, necklaces that I made myself. This one is, um, this one's made of pearls, garnets, and sterling silver. That one's $135. This one is $325. This one is um, a cross that was found in Macedonia. It's um, from the 1600s. These are pearls, this is sterling silver, and these are Dinosaur fossils. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that with us. Thank you so much. And uh, have a good night. Thank you. One more thing I'd like to share. I have a beautiful bracelet. This is um, pearls and quartz. This is sterling silver. And it's magnetic. So it's very wow. easy to get on and off. Look at that. I'm just going to leave with it. Yeah. <laughs> because it feels so good. <laughs>
Awesome. There you go. It's <laughs> amazing. So it doesn't get stuck. It doesn't get well, it doesn't. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks for the interview and have a good night. Hi, how are you enjoying the event tonight? It's wonderful. DomCon is one of my favorite events. I'm Hillary from Hillary's Vanity. Um, I'm very excited to be here this year because I'm debuting my new line, which is so new that I'm debuting it here first before it's on my website. The new designs will be up sometime next month as soon as I'm done editing the photos. Um, and I'm working as fast as I can. That looks amazing. <laughs> very interesting. Tell us more about your brand. Um, Hillary's Vanity, the website is www.hillarysvanity.com. We specialize in uh, fetish, gothic, and steampunk fusion. It's a little bit of everything mixed together. My own concoction. Um, Your dress looks really, it looks beautiful. And uh, is it part of your, where can we get it? You get, well... In this color scheme and fabrics, in, th in these fabrics, it will be available next month on www.hillarysvanity.com. And in the other colors and fabrics, it's already on the website and available to order right now. Yeah, the material looks really nice. Is it comfortable to wear? Uh, do you need an occasion to wear it? Absolutely. I, I design everything in, with a lifestyler in mind. I, everything is fully adjustable to for for corsets. It things go up and down, for, so that way when you gain and lose weight, you know things will still fit you. All the jackets have have lacing on the back, so you can wear with your corset and it'll go in. I do extra small through 4x um, in both men's and women's, and then I have the full hat line as well. I also make sure that everything has pockets, so that way. So you can hide stuff in there. Look that, at it. that way, you can, that way it can be functional when you're at the dungeon, when you're at the club, when you're at a party. When, when you're wearing my clothing, my goal is for you to be comfortable and look fabulous. So you have nice accessories. Yes, really I also nice. make hair bows. I make the hats. Okay, and purple and black color. Purple's my favorite color, really and I've gotten a lot of requests for purple over the years. So finally, this is the year that. The year of purple <laughs> at Hillary's Vanity. You look beautiful tonight, and thank you so much for this interview. Thank you, thank you. so much. And again, DomCon LA is an event that you need to come to at least once in your life, if not every year. Hi, this place is impossible to pass by. Tell us more about your clothes. It looks fantastic. Well, I do have a lot of clothes, and um, I enjoy selling it. It's the fun part of it. Uh, but our main product is, is our, our, our leading edge technology queening chairs. We have here a golden one and a red one. Where can we get it? Uh, well, they're available online from uh, kingsandqueens.biz with a special DomCon discount. The special thing about these chairs is that they have extra padding, so they're actually comfortable for the Dom to sit on for more than two minutes. And also they have the, the one-of-a-kind sling so that the bottom can lay his or her head um, without incurring chiropractic bills. Wow, so uh, how much are your chairs? Well, with the uh, convention discount, they're $370 delivered from Wales. Amazing, and what's her name? Johnny Ross is my name. Nice to meet you, and thanks King, for Kings and Queens makes the chairs. Amazing, thank you so much. Thank you for visiting. Hi, your products look so interesting. Please tell us more about them. Well, my name is Eddie with Planet Awesome. I have a lot of bugs, insects, as you see, alligator heads, skulls, butterflies. I have gemstones. A lot of my things are from Bali, from different countries. Oh, Bali. That looks dangerous. Island, <laughs> Nepal. I have real skulls, too. How much are your products? Well, they're all ranged differently from 5 to $99. Wow, that's great products and reasonable prices. So where can we get it again? 
I usually do a lot of shows like these. This is my first time to do this kind of show, but I do like uh, Comic Cons, uh, Scare LA, Monster Palooza, all the all the horror kind of sh uh, shows, like freaky shows. Well, it is freaky. So. <laughs> or like spooky or Halloween kind of stuff. That's my that's my theme. So you can leave the Halloween every day <laughs> if you Halloween use these products. Amazing. Thank you so much and have a great night. Thank Hi, are you having a good time tonight? I'm having excellent time. Amazing. Please introduce, introduce yourself to us. My name is Evangeline, and I am the West Coast representative for Ms. Martha's Corset Shop. Amazing. Your products look really nice. Can you tell us more about them? Well, we have a lot of high-quality leather and silk corsets and underbusts. Our size range is everything from small all the way up to 5X, so we fit everybody. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Where can we find you? Um, you can find us online at corset1, the number one, not the word, dot com. And, but we always recommend if you see us at an event to come in and be sized and fitted so that you know exactly what style and what size is going to fit you the best before you order online. When is the next event? Uh, my next event is going to be at the amazing Las Vegas Comic Con in the middle of June in Las Vegas. Amazing. Wow. Uh, can you show us some of your products, car sets, or... Absolutely. I'm going to start out with our brand new one. It comes in all these colors here. Um, it's called our Sparkles. This is what it looks like on... Um, this is wow, the red. Look at this. This and it, is an interesting red color. It comes as a full set, and like a princess or a ball gown type of thing, um, and it's 400 for the whole set. Wow, that's a reasonable price and beautiful outfit. Exactly. <laughs> and we have a number of different leather styles up here. Um, this is our W corset. I think you can tell what it looks like, yes. right? And, <laughs> and our Freedom. And um, this one is called the Fierce. These are our hero tribute corsets. We have a lot of cosplayers that like those. Can, can a person order a specific uh, car set online? You can order any one of the ones that we make in the shop online. They're all available online. Amazing. Yes. So thank you so much for this interview and have a great night. You have a wonderful time too. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, I understand that you wish to be working for our company. You wish to be my personal assistant? I was assigned as your supervisor. You will be working for our company and also working for me every day. I will also use you to do my household chores and tasks. Is that clear? Okay, I am your supervisor. You're going to be working your ass off for me from 8 a.m. until midnight every day. Is that clear? I'm going to work you like a slave into complete exhaustion. Is this clear? You're going to be stripped down, collared, and kneeling on on all fours like a dog before me. This is a collar that I'm going to be using around your neck very tightly. And this is a leash that I'm going to attach to it. I will be bossing you around, giving you your slave labor assignments. I'll carry around this riding crop and will generously use it. I require an attitude of absolute obedience, respect, and servitude. You will do everything that I wish and commend. You will address me as Duchess Mindy. I will be giving you tasks to do, and you will do them properly and in a timely manner. 
Is this clear? I'm going to see to it that you work very hard for me. You will also be doing my laundry, scrubbing my floors, and whatever else I decide to have you do. I am your boss, and you're my personal assistant. I will train you to obey me completely, so that your complete loyalty will be to me. I will also give you obedience training like a dog. I expect your absolute obedience. I also have a right to lock you in a dog cage for any reason if I want to. I will use corporal punishment, spanking, whipping, and other disciplinary methods that will bring you to complete submission. I can assure you that upon completion, I will have your absolute submission. Now we're going to go through your training. Now we're going to go through your training. First position, straight down. I'm going to turn around and by the time I'm back, I want to see you completely straight down. Good. Second position. Kneel. Come on, I don't have a lot of time. Kneel. Bow. Come on, bow to your queen. Bow to your duchess. All fours. Kneel and head to the floor. Head to the floor. Kneel, head to the floor, and hand behind back. Head to the floor, and hand behind back. You hear me? Now grovel at my feet. Now beg for permission to serve with an attitude of absolute obedience, respect, and servitude. You will obey my every command. Is this clear? Don't move. I'm going to do your evaluation. You passed the test. Now it's time for you to get your ass to work.